you were thinking about doing. Why so murky? I have to write this script for work and my entire career depends on it, okay? Just what do you want? What does your entire career depend on? It just does, okay? Okay. Would you like to buy a CD of all the natural images in our fair city? Mm, what? Look, it's for a school project. Want a CD or not? No. What kind of a project is this? Marketing. I have to sell these by the end of the week. Well, go solicit somewhere else. Insane. Mm. Oh. Hi! What do you want? I'm bored. Well, go be bored with someone else. I tried explaining to Michael, but he just did the side of your face. What's the side of your face? Well, what does that mean? <laughs> Neither of us have a clue. <sighs> Well, you better go find something to do, because I have a very important script to write. Oh, can I help? No! My entire career depends on this. What does that say? It's unpronounceable. Manana ha'akana! How can your job depend on that? It just does, okay, Neptune? Oh, how about there's a young boy who starts hearing voices at night. At the age of 11. Neptune, that is so sci-fi. Now, if you want to make yourself useful, there are weeds in the backyard. Go get rid of them. We have weeds in the backyard? Yeah, you just can't notice them because they're, like, tucked beside the house. Bones, bones, brittle little bones. It's not the milk you seek. It's the sun you need. Hey, Neptune. I am your only uncle. Matthew, Jason's my uncle too. Anyway, I'm selling these wonderful compact discs here. Stop. You lost me. These are circles that you put in your computer. And why would I buy them? Because you're my family, Matthew, and you support me. I'm your family? Oh, I'm not falling for that. Matthew, we're related. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, Neptune. And when you say, sure... Look, do you want the disc or not? I'll buy one if you cut these weeds for me. I'll pay you double! What's that? A weed remover? Well, if I thought of that, I would have done it myself. Your stupidity, your loss. Ugh! The weeds are gone. That's great. It wasn't that hard. That's great. Okay, so I kind of paid Michael to do it all for me. Please don't kill me. Good for you, Neptune. Oh, and I was the one who broke your glasses last week. Good for you. And I was the one who sprayed your shoes with butt spray. Neptune, Neptune, that's great. And now you can't say that I didn't tell you, right? Oh. And Neptune, since you're free anyways, do you mind cutting the grass? Cutting the grass? How am I supposed to do that? Use your brain. Alright, I'm gonna go cut the grass. And this might take a while. Hey Neptune! Yeah? Do you have any friends that can buy some of my CDs? Ask Jason. No, it's all about his privacy today. I know, it's like a free confessional up there. Neptune, confessionals are always free. What are you doing? I have to go cut the grass. I'll cut the grass if you buy three of my CDs. That's it? Just three? Yup. Okay. Thank you. Here you go. Now don't tell me we have a grass cutter too. Neptune, it's called a mower. Ugh, technology these days. <laughs>
I can't. It's intertwined in there. That's not my problem. Tell Neptune to do it. Mm. Do that one more time and I will snip your tongue off. What should I do? Call the repairman. I can't. He's not going to fix our mower. Well, there must be some kind of a 1 800 number you can call. A 1 800 number? Okay, yeah. Okay. He's set to press 1. Then press 1! Okay. Hello? Yes, hi. My thing got broken and it's stuck and now everything's stuck. My number is 714-2483. Yeah, 1154 Windsor Drive. Um, some kind of wire got tangled in and it's all stuck and yeah. Oh, well, that's smart. Thanks. Bye. Well, what did you say? He said to turn the mower on. You idiot! It won't turn on! Give me! No. Some more. Great! See, I told you you could use your brain. That was me. You told me not to do the tongue thing. The what? Well, you told me not to do the tongue thing. Just kidding. I, I finished my script and I sent it to the agent. I, so, I sold the CD today. Really? How many more do you need to sell them all? Ten, I think. Oh, well, uh, how much does... Fifteen by. One and a half. Here's one. And here's the other. Oh. Uh, Hi, Bobby. Thanks. Bye, Ken. You want to go for a ride? Sure, Ken. Jump in. I'm a Bobby girl in the Bobby world. world. Plastic. Plastic. I'm a Bobby girl. What? Oh, Neptune. Yeah? I thought. Okay. Oh, listen, uh, I've been thinking. Good for you, Jason. Good for you. Uh, no, that, that wasn't it, Neptune. Oh, well, what is it? This came for you in the mail. Neptune! Neptune process 236 Windsor Drive from AB. Come on, open it, open it! God! Oh, just give me the thing! Who would even want to send you mail? Let's be gone. I have friends. What is this? What is it? What is it? It's a check. You mean like a restaurant bill? Money, Neptune, it's money. How much? How much? There must have been a mistake. What mistake? Hoo hoo hoo! Look. Well, what a hoopla! It's not a hoopla. It's ten thousand dollars. That's not a hoopla. That's a mistake. But it was addressed to me, Neptune. Uh, who took it? Who took what? Don't pretend you don't know what when you know what. I think you think we know what, but we really don't know what. We don't know what. That's mine. What? That's my check. How is this your check? I went to the lottery yesterday and I won that check. So I keep, yeah? No, Neptune. How on earth can we even return this? It's simple. It is? We just buy 10,000 lottery tickets. Huh? Look, we buy 10,000 lottery tickets, and the money will go back to the lottery people, and it'll be like it was never with us. Huh? It... it $10,000! Okay, Neptune, we get it. Dollars. 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 Dollars.